there. Well, module six is just about to kind of add an element to it that takes a concept we've been playing with, the idea that in order to be on a line that either the X or the Y has to be identical as you go through it. And this time what they're doing is they're saying draw a line and all they're giving you is which point it is that doesn't change. And then you just kind of have to make a straight line with that. And then you're kind of looking at the distance in between things. So it's kind of a spatial concept idea. Um, space and time and how they relate to each other. So I'm going to try and not take up too much of your time while we talk about space. Here we go. So we can see on here that it's saying plot and label the following points on the plane and then use a straight edge to make what they're calling it this time is segments. So you're going to be making segments, parts of lines. I'm going to go ahead and again, just like I did on five, I'm going to go ahead and go to number two um, because some of these concepts, you know, as far as thinking about them, we'll explore this a little. This one is telling us to construct a line and to call it M so that the Y coordinate at every, and that's an important word, every point is one and a half. And then you're going to construct another line and it gives you the X coordinate this time. And so if we look on here and we go to the Y coordinate of one and a half, one and a half, and we know that every single time it's going to be one and a half high, one and a half high, one and a half high, that you fly one and a half every single point on there. And then you draw a line where every time you went to Y one and a half. And now we're going to do a label for that. We're going to call this line M. And now we're going to do the other one. And this one's going to be called N. And on the X coordinate, every time it's going to be five and a half. So on this one, if you think about it, this one right here, this point, if we were going to label it, the X is one half. And then the Y is just like they told us, it's one and a half. One and a half. Every time. So even if we came over here, you can see it would be five and a half, and then one and a half. The other one now, it says that the X coordinate is going to be five and a half. So here's five, so this is five and a half, right? And so every single one of them is going to land on here. So we can make our arrows and make our line that every single point it will be that we had come here and then we fly to a different point. The Y is different every time. And this one we are going to name line N. Line M is how many units from the X axis. So here is M. How many units? Well, according to this, it's one and a half. One and a half. And it's parallel with the x-axis. And now if we look at the other one, where the x-axis doesn't change, it's parallel with the y. And how far over is every one of them? How far is it from y? Well, it's this number right here that they gave us. It's going to be five and a half. Oh, wait a second. Let's read the question first, shall we? Give the coordinates of the point on line M that's only two units away. Psh, look at that. I assumed what the question was. I didn't read. So we're on line M, it says, and it says that we need to be two units from the y-axis. So here's one, here's two, and we need to give the coordinates for it. So we can see here that the x is one, and the y is always the same. The y is one and a half. So I'm going to make my one a little bigger. One and one and a half. Those are the coordinates. 
Let's see if it's moving on to line X now, because remember, I started to just dump in and give the answer on that. With a blue pencil, shade the portion of the grid that is less than one and a half units from the X axis. So we're going to cruise on over here. We're going to get some blue. And it's saying that shade the portion of the grid that's less than one and a half. So from here is one and a half from the x-axis. So everything that's smaller than that is in through here then. All right, check, did it. Line n, line n, here's a line n, is how many units away from the y? Well, that's where, remember I tried to write that number and then I crossed it out. This is where it goes. Five and a half. Five and a half. Because if you go this distance right here, from here to here, you're going to find it right there. Five and a half. Give the coordinates of the point on line N that is three and a half units from the x-axis. So... If we go up three, one, two, let's see, three and a half. So it's going to be this one right here. So this point is three and a half units from the X. We traveled that far. The coordinates for this now, three and a half. And then how far did we fly? Let's see. Oh, we're at five and a half, aren't we? There's my mistake. Let's make that into a parenthesis. We'll put our comma here, and we went to five and a half because we're on that line. And how high did we fly? We flew to three and a half because it said we had to be that high above the X. Now with a red pencil, shade the portion of the grid that's less than five and a half units. So this one right here is one half away, one away, two away, and so on. So everything to this side, we're going to be shading in red. Let's grab some red, shall we? Because I did my lines in red, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go a lighter. I'm going to go with a pink because otherwise I'm going to end up messing up my lines, messing up my numbers. So it's this too, because this is all less than five and a half away from the y-axis. So all this will get shaded in. Now just imagine if you had like a crayon or some colored pencils. It would look way neater than this is. This doesn't get too shady um, as far as like the version of shade. It gets squiggly. We could say that. So we've done that part now. So you can see what all they have in common is in through here too. Let's see if there's any more questions on that. There's not. We're going to take a look now at the worksheet that I gave you to take home with you for said exit ticket. Here it is. It says plot the point H and it gives you two and a half and one and a half. And if you look down here at the chart, it's broken into one, two, three, four equal pieces for every hole. So then you know that this is one fourth. This has to be one half. This has to be three fourths in order to get to one. And the same is going to happen on the x or on the y axis right here, the same kind of division of your space. So you're going to plot the point and label it an h. The line that passes through point h and it's parallel to the y axis. So if it's parallel, that means it's going to be parallel with this line. So that means it's going to go up and down. So it's telling you how far over you're going to go to make your point, and then it's going to just go up and down, right like that. That we're going to call it line L. So you have point H, you got line L. And then it says construct a line called M. 
that the y coordinate for every point, the y coordinate, so how high up did it go? It goes up to three and a fourth, or sorry, not three and a fourth, just three fourths. Line M then is how many units away from the x-axis? So remember that matches this because if this is how high it flies, that's how high from the ground it is. Give the coordinates of the point on line M that is one half of a unit away from the y-axis. So a half a unit away from it. And then you're going to need some colored pencils, blue, and red. And if you need to go back and watch that part of the video where I was shading it in, it's the same idea. So thinking about if it's less than a certain place, if it's less than a certain place, and then you're looking at if it's from away from the X, the bottom, or if it's away from the Y on the side. Plot a point that lies in the double shaded region. So remember, double shaded means that they were in common with each other. I showed you that on my other one where we had the, the pink, should have been red, um, and the blue all in the same place. And give the coordinates of that point. So plot a point that lies in there. A point, so it's not being specific. It can be any point where you've got both colors going. You get to pick it, and then you get to give the coordinates of it. All right. Good luck. See you tomorrow.